Now I'm taking a quote from my original video. I said that the real descendants of the ancient Egyptians were the people of Central Africa and West Africa. Well, I found this chart that shows the distributions of the R haplogroup and specifically the R1b. And I would like you to notice that the R1b, you have what has been described on, as quoted as a sore thumb of R1b, a pocket of it, right? Look where it originates. So, that's very interesting to know, you know, that, okay, if we have guys who are portrayed as black, and they have R1B, does it matter that the majority of the R1B distributions are in that part of Europe, okay, in parts of Asia, does that matter? Well, obviously it doesn't, because when you, um, I'm going to show you at the end of this a picture of Ramsey slaying a Libyan. When you take that into consideration, you can see that we're not talking about an Indo-European. We're not talking about a European. We're talking about we are talking about African very much distinguish themselves from the other races, okay? So when we get this R1B showing up, is it logical to assume that this is a European we're talking about? Or is it logical to assume that this is an African R1B type that we're talking about? Okay, regardless of when they turn, okay, when the R1B turns into whatever color, whether it turns into white or Asian or black. Regardless of that, we're talking about this guy. Understand? So that pretty much proves my point as it is right there.